So connective tissues in general connect things. That's very broad. Connective tissues are very diverse. Um, so connection can mean something like bone or fat. It also can be the blood connecting the body um, in terms of the things it needs. Um, a big difference with connective from epithelial type is connective is composed of cells that's similar to epithelial type. Um, connective tissue also has a lot of extracellular matrix. So this means stuff outside of the cell, it's extracellular that actually composes the tissue. And it's a, it's a matrix, a physical kind of scaffold structure that makes up the tissue it's outside of the cells. Extracellular matrix is going to be composed of um, protein fibers. These are proteins that are made by the cells in the tissue. So for example, fibroblasts will make collagen fibers. One example, a very common example. The matrix also includes a um, kind of fluid, kind of like interstitial fluid. It's called ground substance. It basically is interstitial fluid, It's, um, but it's part of the tissue and it can vary in composition. So instead of just being water like and very liquidy with um, maybe a few proteins, this can be as um, either kind of gelatinous like it is in cartilage or actually hardened like it is in bone. So these three components make up connective tissues different types of cells, different types of protein fibers, two main ones we'll see, and then different composition of ground substance then make a huge diversity in this type of tissue. Here are a few examples of um, the tissue types. If I can change my slide. There we go. So a few examples, um, again, these are all connective tissues that contain cells are present in, if you look, look at all of these, all of these types should be obvious, but tissues are composed are groups of cells. Um, so we've got cells, cell, cell, and you've seen many of these types of tissue, some of these already. And then you can also see there's matrix um, labeled in many of these. Here there's matrix, matrix. Um, there is a little bit of matrix in this tissue, but less. These fibers actually make up a part of the matrix, but it's a very fibrous matrix, collagen fibers. Um, plasma is kind of like a type, type of matrix. And um, here there's actually very little. Here the matrix would technically be all of these fibers, this would be matrix. So these are very diverse in structure um, and then also function with a similarity being they're all connecting. So binding something together um, and a very general term. Um, again, the ground substance is this kind of aqueous interstitial fluid with various proteins and other sometimes like proteoglycans, so sugars in it. And then the, uh, I'm sorry, the fibers, whenever it says fibers here, those are extracellular proteins. So proteins that are outside of the cells. So the cells will produce them and kind of barf them up um, to become a part of the tissue. Okay. Let's go over kind of a, a flow chart of the types of tissue, connective tissue, and um, we will see these all in detail. So this is the overview. You could go back to at the end and have this hopefully not be quite so overwhelming if it is overwhelming. So connective tissue can be broken down into three main categories, connective tissue proper, fluid connective tissue, and supporting connective tissue. Those are three main categories. Um, if we go to supporting connective tissue, that is our physical um, kind of most supporting. 
So cartilage and bone makes up a lot of our skeleton, right? Most of our skeleton. There are three types of cartilage, hyaline cartilage, elastic cartilage, and fiber cartilage that are different based on the composition of the ground substance and the fiber composition, what fibers there are in them. So we'll get to those. Um, then we've got under connective tissue proper, loose and dense. Those names describe the composition of the extracellular matrix. So looser um, is going to be up to a moment. <laughs> dense are elastic, dense irregular, and dense regular. Dense regular, just to kind of give you an example, um, this is going to be what makes up your tendons. So those are pretty strong. They're dense. They're fibers that are packed tightly together. On the other hand, the loose ones are adipose fat cells, fat tissue, areolar, and reticular. These are all have a lot more ground substance or fluid overall in them. So these are going to be more fluid, which makes them looser. Okay. And then lastly, we'll talk less about these in this unit. Um, blood and lymph are the two types of fluid connective tissues. Um, they're literally, they're fluid. And we'll talk much more about blood in the spring, um, lymph a little bit as well, but just know their connective tissues and examples of how diverse connective tissues can be 